Good morning from Bedford. Is that where I'm at? Bedford, Pennsylvania. I am out there. Uh, I took the long drive through the mountains this morning. This is somewhere that's super crap shooty. I haven't been here since the summertime. It's kind of a hike. But I have a lot of fun stuff in the store today and I'm starting it off at Hokey Geese Flea Market. trying to uh, calm down a little bit. I'm pretty overexcited. I love the Siamese cat. I believe this one is a Lefton actually. It's a harder to find one, but at 23 and 20% off even, I think it's a little too much for me. I bought one from that series recently and it has yet to sell. Oh my gosh, there's so much to look at. Oh, I'm getting a little horse hiding back here. $27. That's really spendy. Oh, I love the little <laughs> radio flyer trike. Yeah, there is no shortage of <laughs> random stuff here. Oh, look at this little dog on chain family set. That is so adorable. Let's see. Is there any discounts? No, I'm a cheapo. It's only eight bucks though. Let me uh, not be like that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. It's just so cute. I'll be able to make a few bucks off of it. Now I'm also noticing these salt and pepper shakers. They're made by Relco. I've had them before. $12 is a super fair price for retail, but it doesn't leave as much room as I'd like for resale. Oh my gosh. Look at this adorable poodle. $15. Oh, I really want to justify that, but I just simply can't. Um, it's not as much room as I'd like. Plus, I've had it before. Look at this adorable donkey. I love its eyes. There's a little bear hiding in here. <laughs> He's quite cute. He's only five bucks, but there's something a little too grimy about him. Now, I'm trying to, uh, reach over to check out these macrame owls. Well, I guess this one's crochet, not macrame, right? It does look vintage. Huh, eight bucks and it's got big googly eyes. This one is a little bit more desirable, I would think. Um, eight bucks. Um, I wonder how well this would do. Um, yeah, it's definitely got some age to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab, grab at least one of them, right? Gosh, I don't know if I'm being crazy or not. Now, what's really catching my eye is the green Norcrest March cat. Unfortunately, it is $35, so there's really not much I can do with that. And I see the little mermaid. It's one of those bisque ones. I've bought those a few times. They don't sell that well for me. And uh, that anthropomorphic set is quite phenomenal. But again, at $15, there's not much I can do with that. I'm kind of second guessing the owls. Hmm. I think I'm getting a little carried away. Although this one's pretty neat. I guess they're both kind of neat. I'm gonna get one and uh, put this one back maybe. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put it back in my basket and walk around. I'm being a weirdo. Nope, I am gonna put this one back. I'm just second guessing uh, myself a little too much. And I know that this is only my first stop of the day. Little star angel tree top. Oh, she's really busted. Um, here's the little rubber one. I haven't had the most luck with these pose angels. I actually have had one that's been sitting for a long time. Otherwise, at $5, I would totally grab that. Oh, but look, here's the little Holt Howard Santa soaps, but a little too much wear than I'd like. I really can't get over how many blow molds they have here. It's pretty impressive. I love that cute little cat clock. Hmm. A lot of stuff that's super close to stuff I would normally pick up. But I'm not seeing anything else that's uh, 
really screaming at me. Oh, look, there's the, wait, Mary Mushroom. Mushrooms everywhere. Three, set of three, set of three. Okay, how much is this set of three? 35 firm. That's fair, but not for me. Um, what about the uh, canister set? Although I did just have one of these. Oh, ah! I'm having a hard time finding the prices and I'm over it. That's how that works. I'm over it. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh, it's got a broken flower. But it's so cute. Here's one. This guy's missing its whiskers and it's a single shaker. Definitely don't want that. I have the full set in stock right now. And these are newer. These are made in Taiwan. $12 each is about what I get for those after fees. Oh my gosh, I'm having a really hard time letting this cat go, but it is uh, broken in multiple places. Oh! <gasps> anthropomorphic tulips holy crap that is most likely going to be the complete find of the day for ten dollars i'm not even going to stop and look them up i'm going to throw them in the basket and know that these are probably going to bring really nice return look at this this is adorable with the little plastic bambies in there $25 if I was buying that for myself I would um, now I'm like really trying to make sure I'm not missing anything else in this booth the little popcorn trees those are fun but they're so easily damaged that vanity set is super pretty and the lacquered box with the little diorama it's got the ballerina in it too um, 32, I have to know, just on principle, although I don't really want to ship that. What? 1650? Oh, it doesn't work. All right, let me, let me, uh, calm down for a second. I'm kind of frantic, but Viking glass, 25 bucks, not bad. Look at this swung vase, but that one's 70. Okay, but also noteworthy are these. I love the gingham. Print eight dollars and fifty cents each. Uh, let me look up what my last one sold on Etsy for. Okay, so I actually haven't had these. I thought I did, but I hadn't. Um, I've had ones like it that sold for around sixteen dollars, and they weren't as spectacular as these. I mean, it's my personal preference because I just love that print and the red. So for eight dollars and fifty cents, I'm gonna get both. I think uh, I'll easily double my money on these. I was uh, kind of spaced out taking a little bit of a break when I saw whatever this is. That's amazing. This old ad is spectacular. What's this one? Oh, that one's in really rough shape. I don't even want to mess with it. Oh, this basket's getting heavy. Ooh, oh. 20 bucks for the mouse, that's definitely pricey. And the little bunny's got a little bit too much uh, age. What is this funny thing? <laughs> I am almost done, I only have like an aisle and a half left of this place. I'm starting to uh, tap out. Look at how freaking cool this is. It's just been so much excitement in uh, such a small time. That is a really cool piece. Um, and so is this. Wow. $65. Oh, I wish I was even somewhat willing or able to ship this. It's on styrofoam. That is incredible. What about the celluloid face, Santa? $28. Oh, and he's 20% off. I don't think I can uh, resist that. This is really hard to find these when their faces aren't cracked. Yeah, so he comes to 
that's more than fair. I'm not gonna think twice. I'm just gonna do it. I'm starting to get a little tired and a little cheap, especially because I know where I'm going next. And like I said, it's a doozy. I was not expecting to do this much here. <laughs> but also, what is this Santa? Japan, $20. I'm gonna let that one go. Whoa, wait. $15? What? This is a really hard sun rubber lamb to find. It doesn't squeak anymore, but it's $15 and 20% off, so for 12 bucks. It won't sell for top dollar, but it's definitely worth grabbing. Okay, I've made it to the last aisle. Um, even though this place isn't as big as some of the places I go, it's been so much stimulation that it's kind of sucked the life out of me. Like this little raggedy Andy planter. That's cute. But after all the things I just saw, I'm a little underwhelmed by it. What about this one? Oh, it's 12 bucks though. That doesn't interest me. And the pose dolls are nice, but I like the ones made in Japan. These ones are made in Korea, which don't sell as well for me. And that one's got some staining on the face. She's got a little bit of damage on her dress there. Okay. I can do it. <laughs> I've made it this far. 10, 12, oh, pretty close to retail on those. Or I should say what I'd get for them after fees. It's more like it. And the owl pictures, I don't usually pick these up. I feel like I see them all the time. And uh, $20 is definitely retail on that. Well, I really wasn't expecting to do that. I spent over double what I thought I was going to there. I spent $107, but I think it was well worth it. And I'm gonna get in the road. I might, I'm get in the road. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the road and head to my next stop. I'm not sure what kind of route I'm taking to my final destination. Maybe I'll make an extra stop along the way, but either way, I'll see you guys when I get there.